Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Stephen Trung. Today I present Big Brain to talk about leveraging computer vision and natural language processing for digital health. Big Brain is the company that's doing AI for healthcare. Today we're going to talk about why we need Mapsit model AI, which is a combination of CV and NLP to solve our problem in our product, which is AV Care, a telehealth product. And Dr. Ed is a doctor assistant product for radiologists, hematologists, and oncologists. And the last but not least, we were looking about what future application that we will be applied in the future for Wing Brain. So you can see in front of you, we have two imaging. One uh, is, uh, you know, for both of them for kids. And there are challenges for, you know, relatives today to identify which one is having a disease and which one is healthy. So with the combination of image and the age, it will help the relatives to identify better and more accuracy the result. So you can see that the first one is, in fact, is the one that having the DC. And the second one is normal and healthy. So what does mean today is imaging data by itself is not good enough. So we need more challenges and fun problems for us to innovate. So our strategy today is in order to do a good AI system, we must have a big data. And we must have a way to validate early and we must have a way to give the real-time feedback loop from the doctor and patient. So what Wing Break is packaging to show a differentiated long-term ecosystem for enable the treating I mentioned. So how are we doing that? Basically, you have an AV care product today that is serving telehealth with packaging for millions of transactions, you know. Uh, in each month, where it's connected between the patient and the medical provider, such as hospital. And this is a model between B2C with the patient, where it's also managing the electronic health record in a central cloud environment. And at the same time, it will connect it to the doctor services. The AI at the core that built for AV care, including chatbot to identify the disease or any like, you know, serious problem for patient while doing the diagnosis, you know, through the app on phone. And also we'll guide it to the right doctor. At the same time, if you bring a lot of data so that it can help the doctor aid to do a better job for assistant you know, doctor to, uh, to do diagnosis and treatment based on, you know, medical image, blood test, and so on. So at the end of the day, the combination of the two products to bring the 4B medicine, including like, you know, personalized, uh, predictive by AI, participant by large data set, and also co a connection of IoT devices through the AV care for monitoring, uh, such as, you know, measure the sugar or, you know, SBO2 for the COVID patient, so and so. So today I'm going to share with you the two uh, products. Uh, so we'll take about a few minutes for each of the demo. So the first one will be the AV care, which is for the telehealth.
So next I will play the video of Dr. A, Dr. Assistant for Radiologist. Thank you. So the next uh, topic I will share about how we bring apply multiple models to solving our AI problem. So you can see from the Dr. H system flow today, we bring the H mobile and hybrid cloud to solve the problem. So the imaging came from like, you know, imaging providers such as GE, Fujifilm, Siemens, uh, send the die compound to our H, which is the VB1 boss, where the H will do reprocessor to make sure the image meet the quality requirements, such as the pixel have to be 5 tail by 5 tail, and also doing the remove the BII data, which is personal identification data, before it will leave the hospital. And the last bit of this it will do the compression technique so that it can make the bandwidth and more efficient when sending the image. When the image arrives in our cloud, we using computer vision and NLP based on the imaging in DICOM combined with symptoms such as like, you know, fever, DC, and demographic data, such as sex, uh, you know, age, and the AI will return the result within five seconds, and the result can be displayed in our Dr. 8 application, which is a web app application that can be deployed anywhere, anytime. Or the equivalent of Dr. 8, which is a pack system that provided by, you know, GE or Future Film or CMAN. And after the result display for the doctor to exam, which is radio chip, uh, we also automatically generate the, you know, like the medical report based on NLP and language generation uh, technique. And the report can be examined by doctor using speech recognition and text to speak to correct it. And finally, the report able to integrate it into his system, the hospital information system at the hospital design. The technology today we solving from uh, on the way from jet x-ray uh, imaging classification 
and segmentation uh, that you can see, as well as uh, we apply the explainable AI, uh, where we uh, generate the heat map and also the border where the damage on the lung, so that the doctor can understand why AI identify, you know, the uh, the problem. Uh, for the MI, we bring the three technology, the segmentation, registration, and also classification, so that we can have, you know, doing the MI analysis uh, with 3D dimension for rectal cancer uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of radiation treatment for patients with rectal cancer before and after the treatment. We apply the registration to ensure that the tumor align together uh, during the period of like three months to six months of radiation treatment. So that's a very important to make sure the accuracy achievable. A similar concept, we bring it to the same for liver cancer, but we apply for the modality ECT scan. And, you know, from the technology with the NLP, we apply speech recognition, text to speak uh, for the medical image. Uh, editing and for the chatbot, uh, we bring it into like you know uh, telehealth product on the AV care, so that we can route it to the right doctor based on the symptom diagnosis. And we also doing the extraction of the metadata based on the uh, health record that uploaded through the app uh, by taking like picture or send by file by. Uh, different kind of like apps, like such as email or things like that. And then the uh, final AI we apply into the AV health, uh, AV care, excuse me, is for the auto transcript and taking the personal note for doctor during the consultation online. So from the technology we bring from beginning, like speak to uh, you know, text and text to speak, so that like we uh, we bring the information into like at the explain earlier. At the same time, we build a knowledge graph. That is relationship between DC symptom uh, specialist doctor and you know like uh, what DC that we going to deal with for each of the specialists. Uh, the conversational AI including. Uh, building the natural language understanding dialogue manager, a Q and A system uh, with the embedding, uh, you know, different models such as TF IDF, and uh, last but not least is a visually rich document where we apply the layout analysis, semantic relationship between entity and location on the form, so that we can. Uh, have to identify the relationship between entity. For the, you know, um, CV area, we bring the active learning, reducing the noise through human label uh, with auto label, so we can achieve a high confidence through, like, you know, identify the sample data and remove the ambiguity. Uh, so we finally achieve about 70% that auto label and only require about 30% um, doc doctor label, which is manual label for us. So with the technology we build, we're able to do like, you know, building the uh, graphical, uh, you know, CNN model where we uh, put the, you know, like on related DC together, such as lunch opacity, consolidation and Athletic assist together. Uh, the radio, radio mix feature, including like three key features shape, identity, identity, brightness, darkness, the frequency space feature, so that we can build classification mo model for tumor evaluation, uh, such as SVM. And finally, the explanatable AI, where we generate the heat map. So looking forward, what we're doing with the technology, uh, you can see that if the medical image come out by itself, you may identify just possible of three DC. 
but with a combination of symptoms such as fever, it will be able to help the AI to identify, you know, pneumonia is the disease for this particular image with fever patient. And beside the, you know, 3D dimension and the combination of CV and NLP, we also bring the time space dimension where we improve the accuracy uh, with the alignment of different like imaging over the historical, you know, uh, data for the patient. So the, with the EHR, we managing a cloud is unable to do it, uh, you know, on this, uh, uh, you know, three plus one dimension. And for the uh, visually rich documentation, uh, besides, you know, like, uh, you know, vision-based feature and OCR, uh, presentation learning for transfer base and documentation for retrieving. We bring in the combination of uh, vision based feature and language contact. Uh, this one of the future that we looking forward to, uh, you know, apply for 2022. And that will help to improve the knowledge graph quality. So finally, in the conclusion, uh, the technology we combine with CV and NLP um, model to bring three things, the alignment of the nature of multimodality in healthcare record. Second, leveraging on the sources of data. And third, bring more accuracy and routed AI decision support system. Finally, we like to accelerate the value and trust of AI and big data in healthcare. So thank you very much for the listening today. And I'm uh, happy to be here uh, to present to you. Thank you.